Almost 71% of the Earth is covered by water, and 91% of the Earth's water is found in oceans. However, only 3% of the water is fresh and drinkable. Desalination is a process which can assist in increasing the amount of fresh water available to us by converting salt water into fresh water. However, the nature of its expense has scared away the big corporations from investing in it. What if I told you there was a way to reduce desalination costs, increasing the amount of fresh water available to us? Fresh water and its easy availability is vital for both human life and economic development. However, the demand for fresh water has reached unprecedented levels due to rising population, urbanization and climate change. Desalination, the process of converting salt water into fresh, has recently emerged as a viable solution to meet growing water demands. Yet the desalination process are often criticized for being extensively expensive and energy intensive. In this video, we'll explore a groundbreaking approach to tackle desalination costs by mining valuable minerals from salt water, providing an innovative solution to offset expenses. Salt water is a nutrient dense body with crucial minerals such as magnesium, chlorine, potassium and various trace amounts of different essential elements, including iron, zinc, copper, manganese and iodine, which are crucial for enzymatic functions, redox reactions and hormone synthesis. In marine organisms, certain minerals in the sea are considered highly valuable and obtaining them from the ocean sources is often more challenging and costly than their land-based counterparts. However, only a few minerals, specifically those in significant concentrations, are extracted from marine environments. Water is essential for the ecologic processes to flow smoothly. Lack of water can be detrimental to any living being alive. Plants, humans and animals depend on water for their biological functions. Salt water present in oceans and seas makes up around 97.5% of water on Earth. However, just around 2.5% of the water on Earth, including that found in rivers, lakes, groundwater and ice caps is fresh water. Most fresh water is trapped in ice caps and glaciers, rendering it unavailable for immediate use. To maintain life and a variety of activities on Earth, it's crucial that scarce freshwater resources are available and managed. Desalination commonly achieved through reverse osmosis, RO, multi-stage flash or MSF distillation is an effective method for producing fresh water from seawater. RO forces salt water through a semi-permeable membrane separating the salt and other impurities from the water. On the other hand, MSF distillation utilizes heat to evaporate seawater, leaving behind salt crystals and other contaminants. While desalinization offers a reliable fresh water source, it faces several challenges. A factor that has scared scientists is the disposal of concentrated brine, a byproduct of desalinization as it possesses environmental concerns. Innovative research and technical development have made various alternatives to handle desalination's financial difficulties possible. Scientists have found that seawater includes precious minerals and metals that can be collected and used, potentially opening up a source of income to help offset the cost of desalination. A few elements, such as lithium, magnesium and potassium, are essential in various industries. The demand for lithium is rising, along with the need for electric cars and energy sources. Lithium may be extracted from salt water more ecologically, benignly than the more common damaging methods of open pit mining. Maybe Elon Musk should be introduced to the process of desalinization. Instead of the blood batteries in Tesla, Elon could use this method. Magnesium is another essential element found in seawater. It's utilized in various industrial processes, including creating lightweight alloys for the aerospace and automotive sectors. While there may be several setbacks towards desalination, the benefits outweigh them significantly. Integrating mineral mining alongside desalination has several advantages and implications, making it a promising solution for reducing costs. So, all that's needed is to mine minerals alongside desalination, and we can create a cycle of conservation and preservation. Something that makes desalination a significant investment is its environmental sustainability. While traditional mining practices often have negative environmental impacts such as deforestation, habitat destruction and water pollution, these issues wouldn't occur with desalination. Saltwater mineral mining provides a more sustainable alternative 
by utilizing a readily available resource without extensive land excavation or harmful mining practices. An issue that desalinization solves that many of us might not be aware of is the desertification. Desertification is the process through which productive land progressively transforms into desert or dry areas due to several factors, such as climate change, deforestation, overgrazing, and us unsustainable land management practices. It's a serious environmental issue that impacts many areas of the planet. Due to the increased land productivity brought on by desertification, there is less potential for agriculture, soil erosion, and loss of biodiversity. Additionally, it adds to social instability, rising poverty and population relocation within the region. Desalination facilities remove fresh water from salt water or brackish water, making it usable for drinking, farming and other uses. Desalination can offer a sustainable water supply to fulfill the requirements of populations and assist agricultural operations in desertification affected areas when fresh water sources are limited. Degradation of agricultural land due to desertification makes it more challenging to raise crops. Farmers can set up irrigation systems in such dry areas and grow crops suited to the local environment. Through desalination, the dreaded drought might be reduced, thereby supporting farmers in feeding us. Desertification negatively impacts ecosystems, resulting in a decline in soil fertility, vegetation and biodiversity. By promoting reforestation and forestation activities, desalinated water may rehabilitate damaged ecosystems. So how exactly does desalination come into play? Well, it helps to diversify water sources, which relieves strain on the world's finite freshwater resources. The more we learn about this process, the more we realize that this could help change the world. Desalination could also affect climate change, one of the most prevalent issues that our world faces today. Climate change is one of the significant causes of desertification since it alters rainfall patterns and increases the temperatures. There are several benefits to desalination. Another benefit that might interest you is that desalination drives innovation. As desalination involves several different sorts of machinery and technology, it pushes the boundaries of innovation in desalination tech. The more mainstream desalination becomes, the more innovative and cost-effective its process shall be. So, from what we can see, desalination offers a long-term solution to problems related to water scarcity and water cycle replenishment. Desalination must be used in conjunction with environmentally and economically sound water management strategies to ensure its long-term survival. Water is one of the most crucial resources and we must take any and all steps necessary to facilitate a smoother transition into a better world. What do you think are some of the ways we could increase fresh water sources available to us? Let us know in the comment section. Want to know your stuff? Join the tribe of nerds who are always on the cutting edge of knowledge and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and until next time.